Good morning, Year 5. Our next maths lesson is all about cube numbers. If you remember before half term, I set you some square number challenges. Well, now we're going to move on to cube numbers. So if you think all the way back to before Christmas, a good while ago, and we were looking at cube numbers in our maths lessons then, so it shouldn't be brand new to us. What we're going to have a go is trying to remember what cube numbers are and then apply them to a few different problems today. So just as a little refresher, I have written out all the cube numbers for us that we need to think about. So to begin with, starting off with one cubed, which is one times one times one, which will give us a cube number of one. Then we've got two cubed, which is two times two times two, which will give us a cube number of eight. Three cubed, so three multiplied by three, and then you multiply that by three again, which will give us 27. Four cubed, if we keep going on, is 64. Five cubed is 125. Six cubed, 216. Seven cubed, 343. Eight cubed, 512. 9 cubed, 729. 10 cubed is 1,000. 10 times 10 is 100. Times it by 10 again, gives you 1,000. 11 cubed, 1,331. And 12 cubed, 1,728. Might be a good time to pause uh, and write those down because they could be useful later. Or we'll work them out if you want to. And then we'll, when you unpause, we will carry on. I'll refer back to this shortly. Right, hopefully you can see the screen. I'll just move out of the way so the camera can focus for us. So, I've got a problem to begin with. I want to complete the table by using less than, greater than, or equal to uh, symbols. So I've got three cubed on the left. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to this cube here? And then is that greater than, less than, or equal to this calculation here? So I'm going to do this one for us to start off with. So three cubed, three times three times three, I know is 27. If I look at this cube, I've got four width, four height and four depth, so four times four times four, four cubed, if I remember earlier, is 64. So I know 27 is less than 64, and 64 is greater than two cubed, which is eight. So let's just check, 27 less than 64, greater than 8. Okay, this one here for you to have a go at. So I've got a cube with three, four, five, a width of 7, height of 7 and depth of 7, so 7 cubed, greater than, less than or equal to 5 cubed, greater than, less than or equal to 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4. Okay, pause the video, have a go at home. And when you're ready, unpause and we'll carry on. Okay, so we've got 343 is greater than 125, which is greater than 64. Okay, so both symbols that were greater than for that one. Okay, now we've got a couple more for you to have a go at at home. This time I've got six cubed. Okay, then I've got a width, depth and length of six, so six cubed again and then nine cubed. Okay, and then for the second one, I've got a two cubed, because it's two width, two height, and two depth, so two cubed, eight cubed, and then 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 cubed, if you want. Okay, so pause, have a go at those, work out the symbols. Okay, let's have a look, see if we agree. So I've got 216 is equal to 216 because they both represent 6 cubed and is less than 9 cubed, 729. And then second one, 2 cubed is 8, which is less than 8 cubed, which is 512, which is less than 10 cubed, which is 1,000. Well done if you've got those. If you didn't, maybe go back and have another go. Check the numbers that you wrote down originally just to make sure and then keep going on. All right, next part. So now I've got a Venn diagram to have a look at. So you can see we've got the two circles 
and in the area that overlaps in the middle. And I've got two headings. It says on the circle on the right, multiples of four. So numbers you would find in the four times table. And then on the left, cube numbers, which means if you remember correctly, the ones in the middle should be multiples of four and cube numbers. And any numbers not in a diagram at all don't meet either of those criteria, okay? They don't qualify at all. So, I've got some numbers in my Venn diagram. However, classic, some of them are in the wrong place. Can you work it out? So, we've got an eight and 64. Are they multiples of four? I've got one, 27 and 16. Are they just cube numbers? Are they even cube numbers? And then <coughs> I've got two in the middle, 36 and 125. Are they both cube numbers and multiples of four? Okay, so think about your four times table. Look at the cube numbers we've already written down. See if you can work out where these numbers should go in that diagram. Pause the video now. Have a go. Okay, let's have a look to see if we found all the same errors. So 125 is not a multiple of four, it should be just in the cube number section. Okay, and then it's, it's green, so you might not be able to see that as clearly as I'd hoped. Okay, 64 is both. You will find it in the four times table, and four cubed is 64, so it should be in the center. Okay, moving on, eight. It should also be in the center because it is in the four times table. And if you remember at the start, it is two on my board here. Two cubed is eight. So there it goes. Okay, anything else? 16, not a cube number, but it is in the four times table. So it's moved all the way across to the other circle. Okay, and 36, also not a cube number but it is a multiple of four, so that's moved as well. So, so far we've moved five numbers, five errors. Anything else? True or false? Have a think of this one, year five. 216 would be placed here on the diagram. Is it a cube number, but not a multiple of four? Pause the video, have a think. Okay, if you look back at the numbers we wrote originally, we know six cubed is 216. So it's definitely a cube number. How could we work out if it's a multiple of four? Think about our four times table. We don't normally go up to 216. Maybe we could do 216 divided by four. Think about our bus stop method. And if there's no remainders, we know it's worked. Give that a try and check it for me. Right, let's move on again. So true or false? 216 should be placed there. False. Hopefully you worked out it is also a multiple of four and it needs to go in the middle. Okay, let's have a look at another problem. 31 cannot be written on the diagram, which means that it's saying 31 is not a cube number. Check from the start. <coughs> no, it's not. Is it a multiple of four? Have a think, what do we know about multiples of four? Multiples of four are even numbers. 31 ends uh, with a one digit, so it is an odd number. So can it be written on the diagram? No, it should be outside of the diagram. Okay, does my diagram contain a square number and a cube number? So is there one number on there which is square and cube, true or false? Reminder, I've got 36, 16, 64, 8, 1, 27, and 125. Have a think. Think back to last week, look at the numbers you've just written down, true or false. Pause the video, have a think. That's just true, 64 is a square number, because remember eight times eight is 64, and it is a cube number, because four times four times four is 64. So 64 is quite a special number when it comes to squares and cubes. Right, here is your challenge for this week. It's a bit different to the normal one, two, and three chili challenges. Um, because I'm going to give you some clues to see if you can solve uh, the, this problem. So, I'm after five numbers. And they, at the moment, are represented by them A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, and I'm going to give you some clues to work out which number goes with which letter. Okay, 
Okay, so clue number one, 10 cubed is the greatest number. So one of those five is going to be 10 cubed. And because it's the greatest, that tells us we don't need anything higher than 10 cubed. So think about what 10 cubed is worth and maybe write that down uh, and so you know not to go past it. Second clue, only one of these cube numbers has a single digit. So A, B, C, D or E is going to have a single digit. Now think back to the start. If I pull this across, there's only two cube numbers with a single digit. One cubed or two cubed. So it's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of our uh, solutions. B starts and ends with the same digit. All right, can you see a cube number that starts and ends with the same digit? I'm not going to say any more clue, uh, to help you at this point. You've got to start figuring this out. Have a look at the numbers. Do any of them start and end with the same digit? Because that is what we want for to go into B. Uh, a and C both have a 2 as one of their digits. D and E have the same digit sum. So if you add the digits together in that number, for example, if I take 27, the digit sum would be 2 and plus 7, which is 9. Okay, 64, 6 plus 4, the digit sum would be 10. Okay, so we're looking for... D and E, you haven't, the digits must add up to the same number. E is the smallest possible cube number. That is a very big and helpful clue. The greatest and smallest numbers are next to each other. Okay. The numbers A to D are ordered in size from smallest to greatest, and A and C have the same digit sum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera to the clues a little bit more. So hopefully, if you want... To, Bear with me if you want to pause. So I can just fit that in as best I can. Just almost there. Right, this is the time to pause. Hopefully that's worked. Uh, if not, I will just read those out to you uh, one more time. And you can write them down as we go. So, <coughs> excuse me, clue one. 10 cubed is the greatest number. Only one of these cubes has numbers has a single digit. B starts and ends with the same digit. A and C both have a two as one of their digits. D and E have the same digit sum. E is the smallest possible cube number. The greatest and smallest numbers are next to each other. The numbers A to D are ordered in size from smallest to greatest, and A and C have the same digit sum. I'd really like it if you could send your solutions into the year five email address. Well done so far uh, with the things that you've been sending in. And also, just to finish off, a quick shout out for TT Rockstars. It's looking like 5P are going to be crown champions. Um, keep logging on, keep having a, having a go and adding to your class's score, but yet 5P are definitely the, the class to beat at the moment. So come on, everyone else. Let's see how good you can be. Okay, good luck with your cube numbers.